Yeah, hey Jessica, and the museum has a great piece of real estate right next to the Washington Monument here on the National Mall in Washington, D.C. Approval of construction of this museum uh, took place 13 years ago when George W. Bush was president. It opens in a much different time. The United States has its first black president, Barack Obama, but racial tensions have probably not been this high in the United States since the 1960s, especially around this string of shootings of African-American men by police here in the United States. Speaking about the museum today, President Obama said in many ways these are the best of times for African Americans, but there are so many challenges that remain. And this museum aims to help people understand and come to terms with the past while better making sense of the challenges that exist today and in the future. Take a look. The new National Museum of African American History and Culture chronicles dark chapters of U.S. history while celebrating the contributions African Americans have made to society and culture. The mission of the museum is to make America better, to use African American history to help people understand the world they're living in, to give people a kind of safe space where they can both understand those moments that have been very difficult for America, but also understand the kind of joy and resiliency that has shaped this community and ultimately shaped this country. The museum charts the African American experience from the horrors of slavery to the struggles and triumphs of the civil rights movement. This is a recreation of a 1960s lunch counter. These were pivotal locations in the civil rights movement where protesters staged what are known as sit-ins. Now it's an interactive exhibit that allows people to learn more about sit-ins, freedom rides, bus boycotts, marches, and other elements of the civil rights movement. The museum highlights the important contributions black Americans have made to business, politics, pop culture, and the world of sports. In the music gallery, Chuck Berry's Cadillac is parked alongside the Mothership, a stage prop from 1970s funk pioneers Parliament Funkadelic. Interactive exhibits track the rise of soul music and hip hop. Music is really an essential part of African American life in unique ways in this country. Um, not only as a cultural tradition as it is for any culture or a mode of human expression, but it's been a vehicle to communicate ideas, it's to be a vehicle for social protest, a vehicle to sustain people in times of trouble. We are. I love this stuff. The race and gender, it's important. Jonetta Elsey is a student activist who has protested in the Black Lives Matter movement. She traveled to Washington for a sneak preview of the museum. I think it is amazing. Um, it touches me like on a spiritual level just to see exactly where we have come from and how far we have gotten and how far we still have to go. She's moved that a country that once allowed blacks to be sold as slaves now has a museum dedicated to the African-American experience. The black experience is the quintessential American experience. So to see America through the eyes of black people is to see what America truly is, good and bad. The $540 million building officially opened Saturday. There's major events all weekend, music here on the mall, a big gala tonight. President Obama will take part in the opening, as well as some major celebrities, including Oprah Winfrey, Denzel Washington, Quincy Jones, and many, many more, Jessica. It's going to be an amazing weekend for all that can participate, Jim. You actually had a chance to tour the museum. What really struck you the most about this historical location? Well, I mean, I couldn't leave the music gallery. There were so many fascinating uh, things in there about the contributions of African Americans to music. But I think what I loved the most about this museum was the way it was able to weave together history, politics, pop culture, and, and you walk away trying to imagine the United States without the African-American contributions that have been made. Uh, and, and it's almost impossible to picture this country without that experience. It's such an integral part of our history here as Americans, not just as African-Americans. Jessica? Thanks, Jim. Hope to get there soon myself.